Hey, this is Greg the Carpenter. Let's go over another lesson with your calculator. And I'm talking about the Essex board measure scale on your frame and square. That is your calculator. That was my calculator. I've never had one of these calculators right here. When I was doing framing and rough timber framing, this was my calculator. But with that being said, there's a lot of things being lost in time. So let's dive into the video and let's go over the Essex board measure scale and use it as a calculator as it was meant to be. So this right here is your Essex board measure scale right here. Okay. So let's dive into it and let's just start right here. What is three times four? That would be 12, right? Three times four is 12 inches. So this is the column we're going to be using right here. Okay. And if you'll notice, there are seven columns here. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns here. So if I go two times four, I've got to come back up to my original 12 inch mark right here and keep it on that same line. I've got eight inches or eight foot right there. Let's do another one. What is three inches times five? That would be 15 right here. So you would use this column right here. So let's go, let's just pick a number, a random number. Three foot nine inches times five. You come all the way down to the 15 inch mark you've got 18 foot 9 inches. Let's do another one. What is 5 times 4? That would be 20 inches. You would come up here to the 20 inch mark and these are the numbers you would use right here. So if we look in this column right here and go with 5 foot 10 inches and go to our 20 inch mark, that would give us 23 foot 4 inches. And that is how we use the frame and square as a calculator to figure up the material list, the headers, the boards we needed. Everything was calculated using this Essex board measure scale. Now I've got a couple more videos about the Essex board measure scale, but I may play them, I may not. But Greg the Carpenter out. I hope you enjoyed this video.